Hey everyone, welcome back to the Goth House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today I am getting ready to pull out of my driveway and we are going to pick up a big grocery haul. Um, this is something that I heard from on um, uh, Sutton's Days. One of the group members picked up this big haul. So I called and made an appointment for 11 o'clock today um, to pick up this big food haul. I've not done it before. I have no idea what is in store, but I'm super excited about it. So I am going to get on the road and I'll see you up there. Okay, so I am here for my pickup and it's pretty busy. It's a small little parking lot area and they're unloading the trucks right now. So I'm just hanging out in the air conditioning in the car. Um, it's a heck of a lot nicer up here. It has been 118 the past few days in Phoenix and our monsoons have rolled in so it is muggy. 118 and muggy. That sucks. <laughs> I uh, went outside to go swimming and I filmed a, a video for you last night and it was super hot. <laughs> So anyway, see, you can, hopefully you can see these guys moving boxes, but um, I don't, I have no idea what I'm picking up, so I can't wait though. <laughs> so anyway, I just thought I'd jump on here really quick. I think when they start loading, then I will um, I'll film a little bit of it for you if they let me. I'm sure they will. These people are so nice. All right, I am back home. I was gonna try to film some of the loading for you, but uh, I was the loader. <laughs> so anyway, this is a lot of stuff. This is the car full. All the food that I got for $52. Holy guacamole. All right, folks, I've unpacked everything and holy cow. I cannot believe the deal I got. I'm super, super excited because I've been buying more um, produce and meat just to can. So this is a lot of extra stuff that I don't usually purchase. So I'm super excited about it. Um, the jars back there, not included. My husband found those last night at an Ace Hardware and paid 15 bucks a piece for them. But I needed them because I am almost out and that you can't find jars anywhere. Okay, so let's go through my my score. Holy cow, I'm so excited. Let's start over here. I have two boxes of produce and there is onions in here. This produce looks like it's, it's going bad, so um, nothing I'm not used to. Produce on its last leg, yep, that's me. So I will do something with it um, right away. I was almost out of potatoes anyway, so. Um, so two big, huge bags of produce, so that's pretty good. A big bag of smart food popcorn. Over here, four cases, croissant sandwiches. These are pretty good size too. Frozen, frozen croissant witches. Yum. Um, four bags of chicken. I don't know how many pounds it is because it's not labeled. They feel like they're about maybe five pounds a piece for these chicken breasts. Um, I got two butters in there, um, four American cheese, two mozzarella, two cottage cheese, two sour cream. I got two gallons of milk, two loaves of bread, um, some sandwich rolls, hot dog buns, hamburger buns, a whole bunch of candy. Um, looks like mac and cheese and this looks like maybe some of the items were damaged and that's why they um, put these packs together which is fine with me because the boxes are all a little bit dented um, a protein pack bar taster's choice I actually love these for evening <laughs> um, big bag of frozen peas cheese and this is Mexican blend cheese um, a couple half and halves chicken you can see chicken tenders under there. Huge bag of potato chips. Huge box of coffee creamers. And I want to say that I think some of this stuff is left over from restaurant supply stuff. Um, a thing of dog biscuits. Um, two bags of pretzels, pretzel rods. 
Here's my other produce box. Holy crap, that's 20 pounds of potatoes. There, there's more Smart Pop in there. Um, there's three watermelons. There is two cauliflowers, which I'm super happy about. I can, I'll probably make some tonight. <laughs> more onions, all kinds of peppers, which I love. Over here, I got three cases of yogurt. And this is all Greek yogurt, and it is um, coconut and key lime, my two faves. That's about the two kinds of yogurt I buy, so I was excited about that. Um, a big package of Canadian bacon, again, restaurant supply. And look at this, a huge box, I just cut it open, of baked guava and cream pie. These are the pies that you deep fry at the little restaurants. I'm super excited about it. One, two, three, four, five, six. This was an entire case of um, potato puffs. What do you call them? Tater tots. <gasps> yeah, lots of tater tot casserole coming up. And check this out, liquid egg whites. Egg whites are my very favorite. I only eat whole eggs when I have to. These are left over from Mickey D's. Wow, I'm gonna freeze them. It's a good thing I got a couple freezers, right? Got a couple freezers there. And these, I got at auction because they are dented right there but work perfectly fine. And then, then of course my big freezer out there. Wow, it's getting windy out. But that, folks, is my happy find of the day. And guess what? This is called the happy box. And I learned about it from, my Aunt Teresa had sent me the post. It was something that was posted on uh, Sutton's Days group, somebody that picked one up. So I called them, um, put my name on the list, and went up there today. It's, it's not very far from me. Um, it took me an hour to get there. Oddly enough, that's where I'd like to retire someday. <laughs> Anywho, that is my quick haul video for you. It's my fun find of the day. I am so excited. The kids are coming over, probably pick up some of their food because of course I share, I don't keep everything. I have three adult children. I've got grandchildren. I have parents. I have mother-in-law. Um, so I pretty much share everything. So anyway, I'm kind of the uh, food prepper of the family. <laughs> Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. If you haven't started following me on Instagram yet, you should. At JennyGoff18, I pretty much post daily what I'm up to around here. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.